Your argument is so stupid, Phil. Everyone knows that we vote for our politicians and they represent our interests. We are the government. It's we the people. Government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. In Anatomy of the State, Murray Rothbard explained the failing of logic in this often quoted bit of propaganda. We are the government. The useful collective term, we, has enabled an ideological camouflage to be thrown over the reality of political life. If we are the government, then anything a government does to an individual is not only just and untyrannical, but also voluntary on the part of the individual concerned. If the government has incurred a huge public debt, which must be paid by taxing one group for the benefit of another, this reality of burden is obscured by saying that we owe it to ourselves. If the government conscripts a man or throws him into jail for a distant opinion, then he is doing it to himself, and therefore nothing untoward has occurred. Under this reasoning, any Jews murdered by the Nazi government were not murdered. Instead, they must have committed suicide, since they were the government, which was democratically chosen. And therefore, anything the government did to them was voluntary on their part. One would not think it necessary to belabor this point, and yet, the overwhelming bulk of the people hold this fallacy to a greater or lesser degree. We must, therefore, emphasize that we are not the government. The government is not us. The government does not, in any accurate sense, represent the majority of the people. But even if it did, even if 70% of the people decided to murder the remaining 30%, this would still be murder and would not be voluntary suicide on the part of the slaughtered minority.